Jackhammer's broke. We're doing it manually. What's up guys? It's Lee here, the bartending photo boothing rental guy. And uh, today we're, me and Jace are off to a tent install. So we'll put the can out like that. Cape measure five feet this way. There we go. Feet out. So with hammering stakes, you'll see pictures on the internet with people who have their stakes in the, out this far. That's no good. You'll see pictures of people who have uh, their stakes in this far no good you need to have your stakes in all the way to get maximum pulling power uh, the last six inches of the stake is where it gets the most pulling power so make sure you have your stakes in all the way jackhammers broke we're doing it manually Also make sure your stakes are straight or else uh, angled 10 degrees out. Okay, so I'm just holding the pole in a little bit, the spots marked on the ground. And then Jace is just gonna tension it a few times just so it keeps uh, the tent top up before we put in the center poles here. So you'll notice that the side poles aren't exactly straight. You wanna keep them tilted just in a little bit. That way you will have room to put in the center poles. The tent won't be uh, too tensioned so that uh, your center poles will get in. Now that the tent top isn't really touching anymore, uh, Jace is just gonna pull it out from under the tent. Well, I'm at the back of the first pole and Jace is just putting it through and then just grab the, the jump rope there, Jace, mm -hmm. so that if it was windy, so that it wouldn't slip off, right? Yeah. So we're putting the tent top up so I'm gonna be pushing and you're gonna be angling up so so I push you angle up okay I'll push and then we just go a bit we'll leave it yeah yeah we'll leave it at an angle and then we start putting the second one in and then when you're right here we're just gonna tie the jump rope oh okay so the jump rope and then we will put it up fully and then put the other one up fully. Okay, so we're just gonna tie the jump rope here. Um, I just wrap it around and do it many times and make it look as clean as possible. So. Okay, so ratchets. Ratchets are pretty simple if you know how to do them right. So you always wanna make sure your tent ratchet is straight because straight looks so much better than a big twisted up one, right? So we'll grab it and make sure it's straight and make sure it's straight this way. And then, then you'll see an A. So you wanna be able to feed it through the a there so that it comes back through itself so you feed it right through like that and then then you can tighten it without the ratchet getting in the way right because if you feed it through and then put it through itself like this well then you're trying to trying to ratchet into itself and that's no good so what we're gonna do is just have the ratchet like an a so take it feed it through 
Oh, oh, it's already twisted. I screwed myself. So, start here. You know it's not twisted up. Beat it through the A. Perfect. And put this up to where we need it. And just give it a few. There we go. The order do you put your poles in? Start with the corner poles and then do your center poles. And then the uh, short section, the 20 foot section, uh, outside poles. And then work your way on the outside. So do a left and then do the other side and then come back over to this side and do that one. And then come over to this side and do that one. That way you won't get uh, a tent that's angled all funny. Okay, so now what we're trying to do is make the pole straight. So we're gonna set the first pole. So what we're gonna do is make sure that it's like straight every way. So yeah, you wanna ratchet it until it becomes straight. Okay, it still looks like maybe it could go just a tiny bit. No, yeah. This one, no, no, okay. this one. Okay, that's good. Okay, that looks pretty straight. So now let's head over to this pole at this end. Cause we started here with this cord or this ratchet. So now the other ratchet, we want to tighten this line here. And while we're walking, we're going to watch to see if any of these poles are kind of out of shape and we'll try to uh, put them in. So no, we want to start with this one right here. So we want to set it so that it's like this. Okay, well, let's give it a little bit more. So you just click like that. There, you see along the line, it's nice and nice and tight now. We wanna make sure that these are all square too. So, square those. And see this one's off a little bit this way. So now let's take this corner and make sure that until the pull straight. Okay, that's good. No, one more. One more. Okay, that's good. That's straight. So now that we did this corner right here, we wanna do the exact straight corner this way until it's tight. So we can see that it just needs to go just a little bit. Perfect. Uh, one more. Yeah, you sh perfect. And then, so Jace, this one just needs to come a little bit this way. Till it's straight. Give it one pump. Okay, uh, that looks pretty straight. Let's keep it that way. And then, ooh, this way is all messed up. So let's uh, make sure that these look in line at the bottom. Okay, so. Now that we did that one, let's do this one here. Let's uh, make sure she's straight. Okay, that looks straight. And then we'll look down this way and let's do it till she's straight up and down. Okay. That's good. For now, yeah. And then now we can work on the side poles. So we're gonna start at this side pole and then we're gonna go over to this side pole and then we're gonna do this side pole and lastly, we're gonna do that side pole. Okay. There we go. Just, yeah, just till she's straight. Okay, that's good. And nope, now we go over to this one. center poles look a little bit whatever uh no uh yeah one more one more just like that okay now we go back over to this one here 
And then we'll notice that she's not in line fully here. So we'll just put that in line, in line with the, the middle center pole. Make sure everything's in line every way. Okay. I know, screwed up a little bit. Okay. Uh, yeah. And then lastly, we'll hit this guy. Disclaimer, this tent in this video was my very first tent. Uh, it's what I call a discount tent. So I give it out at a discount price. Uh, yeah, but I do do newer tents and uh, this one is not going to be in my inventory next year. You just make sure it's lined up like this. You wrap it around and then you just pull a loop through. So, <laughs> pull it around, and then just pull it through. There we go, so that they can easily just come undone when you're uh, packing up. So I always like to document everything, and you should document everything too. Even though it's a B tent, uh, when the video's done, it doesn't look like a B tent anymore. So uh, this is the video that I made. I upload it to YouTube and then in the descriptions I put links and I make tags so that uh, eventually this stuff will just uh, saturate YouTube in my city. That's a, that's a little tip. Just, just make as much stuff and put it out there. Every picture that you put on your website, put your, you know, the city of your name and then rental or the, the name of your city and then rentals and just like little keywords that will tell uh, Google uh, basically where it's supposed to belong and it'll just start popping up in places and you'll be seen more so and then watermark your pictures anyways that's that Are you still watching? Oh my gosh, well thank you so much for supporting my channel. So broken jackhammer, so we took that off and we're gonna put the new one on. I'll, uh, I'll match up the cord in there. Thanks for watching everyone. I managed to fix my jackhammer. It was just the plug. I just rewired a new plug. It was very simple. Uh, if you saw something in this video that I was doing wrong, please let me know in the comments and I'd love to uh, critique my, my pole tent skills uh, the best that I can. So I'm still a newbie. This is only year one of pole tents. So I've, I have much to learn. So please drop it in the comments. All right, thanks for watching. You stay classy.